1836, a group of missionaries left for what was billed as the promised land, Oregon. Marcus and Narcissa Whitman joined the party, which followed the Oregon Trail. The old fur trading route started in western Missouri, then stretched 2,500 miles to Oregon's fabled farmland. Today, that journey would cross five states. Before the Whitman party, no women or wagons had attempted the trip. No one thought they could make it over the steep South Pass, the easiest route through the Rockies. But Narcissa Whitman pushed through. The frontier was now open to families. Soon, wagon ruts on the Oregon Trail grew deeper. Tens of thousands of homesteaders began forging west, including Amelia Knight. She left Iowa newly pregnant with her husband and seven children. They followed the Platte River, the source of drinking water and disease on the trail. In what's now Nebraska, the Knights looked for landmarks like Jailhouse and Courthouse Rocks and Scott's Bluff. Out here, they feared Indian attacks. But the biggest killers were river crossings and gun accidents. In 